Since we've released Docker Model Runner earlier this year, we've delivered many new features and improvements. Among other things, we now support the majority of Docker desktop hardware and operating system platforms. This means support for Apple Silicon, Windows with AMD 64 CPUs and Nvidia GPUs, and the latest edition Windows on ARM support for CPU and Qualcomm GPUs. Together with our release of Model Runner support for Docker CE, which allows you to run Model Runner on your Linux box, for example in your CI pipeline, this makes Model Runner available to the vast majority of developers out there. And of course, we continue to double down on the integration across the Docker product ecosystem. So you can expect great support of using Model Runner together with Docker Compose or the various test containers language implementations. We also continue to improve the user experience across our CLI and Docker desktop uh, GUI integration. That means you can now pull and run models directly from the model tab in Docker desktop and you can also inspect the inference log of your runner models directly from the comfort of Docker desktop. So stay tuned for more improvements and features to be shipped soon. A topic that is very important for us is the new tooling we just released that makes publishing models to other namespaces or even other container registries a breeze. And not only can you now easily push existing models to these new coordinates, we also provide you with tools to package your own custom model files that are available maybe in a GGF format as OCI artifacts and push them directly to any container registry of your liking, for example, Docker Hub. And all of this just with a single command. So now let's have a deeper look at the commands involved in publishing models. All right, so first let's pull some pre-existing model from Docker Hub that is publishing our curated uh, AI namespace. I'm doing a Docker model pull AI small 2 and I'm using Swarm2 here because it's super small and therefore it's just perfect as a demo candidate. In this case, I had the model already cached locally, so nothing more to see here. It was just super fast to pull it. Next, I tag it under my personal user namespace and even under a new repository name. So I'm using the docker model tag command and now I'm re-tagging the Swarm2 model under Kevin Vitek. 2112, that's my user namespace, my personal user namespace, and now a new repository name, small 2 demo. Okay, tagged successfully. And last but not least, let's push it to Docker Hub. So, Docker model push, the name of the model we just re tagged, small 2 demo. This now takes some time because uh, the whole model has to be uploaded, but once it's finished, we can see it appear on my personal hub page. All right, model pushed successfully. We see it just appeared here, updated a few seconds ago. We can check it out. We see here the pull command that I can directly share with the community if they want to now use my model. All right, that was already pretty cool. And now you have seen how you can easily move existing models around, maybe in order to comply with your internal policies. Maybe they need to be in a certain organizational namespace or whatnot. So, but what about publishing a completely new model that you only have available so far as a raw GGF file. That's now also super easy with the new model package command. So let's start by pulling down a GGF file first. And we do this from the famous AI community watering hole, hugging face, of course. Just using curl, just downloading this GGF file will now take some time. It's a bit of a bigger model. Okay, cool. We just pulled down this four gigabyte GGF file. And now that I have this GGF file locally, I can package it up as an OCI artifact and push it to hub just with a single command. And that's docker model package ggf. Now I have to specify the absolute path to my ggf file. Then I pulled it down into model ggf. The push flag, now I have to specify the uh, coordinates. And in this case, I will push it again into my namespace. Bit. And let's do here, mistral demo. So please note that we had to specify an absolute path to the GGF file. And I also want to call out specifically that in the current version, this command is like a pseudo transaction wrapping the building of the OCI artifact and directly pushing it up without loading it into the local model cache first. Obviously, it's an area for improvement and you can expect this improvement coming soon. Okay, now that the package command is finished, I can find my just push model here in my hub page. I can navigate to this detail page, give this command to my friends, to my coworkers, to the community, and they can just 
pull down this new custom model I just pushed and start using it with Docker Model Runner. If you want more demos like this, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe for our upcoming videos where we'll show you the new ways you can use Docker and Docker Model Runner. Thank <laughs> you.